What? Yeah. There was 19. Like I said, there was 19 officers in there. In fact, there was plenty of officers to do whatever needed to be done, with one exception, is that the the incident commander inside believed they needed more equipment and more officers to do a tactical breach at that point. That's why BORTAC was requested on the scene as soon as they were there. They executed a search, or at least a, a dynamic entry, and went in. And uh, of course, that was not till 12. That was not till 12:57. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, hey, I, with a, hey, with a, hey, with the benefit of, hey, with the benefit of hindsight, hey, the benefit of, hey, stand by, stand by, hey, stand by, hey, stand by, all right? I got it. I got, I got it. Okay. Hey, from the from the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now. Of course, it was not the right decision. It was the wrong decision. Period. There's no no excuse for that. But again, I wasn't there. But I'm just telling you, from what we know, that we believe there should have been a, an entry at that as soon as you can. Hey, when there's an active shooter, the, the rules change. It's no longer okay. It's no longer a barricaded stuff. We don't have time. You don't worry about outer perimeters. And by the way, Texas embraces active shooter training, active shooter certification. And that, that, doc, that doctrine requires officers, we don't care what agency you're from, you don't have to have a leader on the scene. Every officer lines up, stacks up, goes and finds where those rounds are being fired at and keeps shooting until the subject is dead, period. Yeah. 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 Yeah.